Welcome. You're listening to Verse of the Day with iDisciple. We hope a new verse every day of the week encourages you. Today's verse is 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 6. Remember this, whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and whoever sows generously will also reap generously. Derek Greer of Grace Church has great words about how Scripture teaches that we'll reap what we sow. Take a listen. For he who sows to his flesh, who and what we sow, we found out matters. But in this verse and the next verse, Scripture is teaching us not just who to sow into, what to sow, but where to sow. For he who sows to his flesh will reap of the flesh corruption. Is that what the Bible says? Now, when he speaks of the flesh, he's not talking about our physical bodies. Jesus teaches us to take care of our bodies. The Bible calls our physical body the very temple of the Holy Spirit of God. So he he doesn't mean, again, our, our, our bodies. But when Scripture speaks of the flesh... It's typically speaking of that self-centered, touch, taste, feel, smell part of us, the eat, drink, and, uh, you know, for tomorrow we die part of us that's in each of our lives. It's, it's kind of more like the, the destructive, you know, forget everybody else, I'm going to get mine. You know, it's all about me, and I'm just, you know, I don't, I, I, I don't care. You know, I, I, I got to get what's mine, and, and, and this, this attitude actually is pervasive in our our culture. By the way, can anyone say Real Housewives of Atlanta? (laughs) Or maybe Real Housewives of New Jersey or whatever other state. But in those shows, all they do is sow into the flesh. So no one should be surprised just a few episodes into the season (laughs) when they're fighting, pulling off each other's wigs and and doing all the different things (laughs) that they do. Because the Bible says here, He who sows into the flesh will reap corruption. But that need not be our testimony. But he who sows into the Spirit will reap of the Spirit everlasting life. What the Scripture is teaching us is saying you can get a handle on your life. We can control whether our flesh rules or our spirit rules rules in our lives. Thanks for listening. We'll be back tomorrow for another verse to start your day. For more, download the iDisciple app on your smartphone to start growing closer to God.